YouTube, Sniping for Dom fans, and all you big, big, sexy supporters out there. How the hell are you guys doing today? My name is Derek. My gamertag alias is 4Dom. We are back with another World World 2 video, and this is a tips and tricks tutorial video on helping you get better aim, better game plays, more wins. So, go ahead, thumbs up this video. Also, don't forget to leave a comment down below because I'm one of the few YouTubers that reply back to every single comment. Huge thank you to all of you for bringing us and the Dom Squad up to 16K. We're about to hit 16K. It's been a grind since losing 83,000 followers over on Twitch, but we're doing it. We're live streaming over here four times a week and then uploading vlogs and other videos as well. So, let's go ahead and get right into this video, this game. Play is pretty sick. I'm using the Springfield and a backup of the Type 100. Um, overkill classes are phenomenal in this game, so make sure you you check out all my other best class setups and stuff like that. Um, the things I'm going to be talking in this video are going to be ranging from practicing, understanding the maps, some products that you can engage with to help your accuracy and the longevity of your gaming play. So let's just go ahead and jump into this. First and main thing is you want to practice, 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 practice. As far as aiming. Maybe up your sensitivity just a little bit to where you still have the comfortability of not being thrown out of your element, but you're able to move a little bit faster. To be able to turn on people in this game, so many people nowadays play on a higher sensitivity, and if you're on a 3 or 4, your accuracy might be dead on, but these guys are moving all around you and they're going to they're gonna win that gun battle every single time. Okay? So, uh, you got to know when to pre-aim with your hit fire. You need to know when to zoom in when you're locking on your opponents. That can be crucial too. Zooming in takes a little bit more than a hit fire. And you wanna you wanna basically evaluate what's gonna be a longer distance and a shorter distance fight and what's gonna pay off for you. Headshots are very imperative in this game. Very imperative. Because there's so many jump shots and drop shots and stuff like that. If you get a headshot on them, you'll drop them before they get to drop you. Now the jump shotting, if you saw this in the past couple weeks of the beta, jump shotting is a thing. It's going to be here to stay. You're going to see all the pros using it in competitive. Um, you'll see drop shotting, but not as much as jump shotting. Jump shotting in this game will make you auto center. So even if you're not even zoomed in, if you jump and pull your trigger, it's going to auto zoom. It's just like an aim assist. And you're going to drop your opponent. So learn when to use that. Learn not when to use that. And please, for the love of God, don't embarrass yourself and drop shot on people that are completely in front of you when you're behind you. It just makes you look like a like a fanboy. So <laughs> uh, you need to know when to use your head glitches. Where all your head glitches at on all the maps. Um, it's a huge advantage in this game because you can't jump out of harm's way anymore. There's no more jetpacks. Thank God, but head glitching is going to be a thing, so you need to learn your spawns, where the enemy's coming from, and which head glitch to grab onto. You need to also understand the science behind Call of Duty. Any Call of Duty, and especially this one. Understanding the science of spawn trapping. This will help you more than what you know. It's not, I understand you get a gun in your hand and you want to just see how many kills you can get, but why not? Why not increase your gameplays, your kills, by at least 20 to 50%? That's a huge increase. Why would you not want to do that? There's three entries to every Call of Duty map. You have your left side, your mid, and your right side. If those are all covered, they can't spawn behind you unless you push into their spawn. You pushed in so far, then, the, then they'll just spawn right behind you and wreck you. In Domination, it's a lot easier to do than TDM, but you can still spawn trap, which you guys saw me doing in this past couple weeks of beta. You can still spawn trap on TDM, and it works very well. So learn your maps, come by the streams, check out my other tutorials on spawn trapping, and this will help you out a lot more. Now there are some products that you can that you can buy, you know, you engage yourself with that will make your aim better, quicker, make you focus some more and I'm going to go ahead and and focus on those uh, for just a couple minutes here while you guys are watching this sick gameplay. This sniper I was a little worried about but it came around and I ended up enjoying it by the after a couple hours of using it. So, the first thing I want to talk about is control freaks. The longevity for playing, they're more comfortable. There's hundreds of options. There's The science behind these are there's 60% more range of motion than what your opponent's going to have. 
So you're basically moving faster and you're moving quicker. Okay? So you don't have to move your sticks as much and you're just being able to turn way quicker than what they are. The comfortability of these things, like I said, will be able to put you in hours. If you use code DOM10, whenever going to controlfreaks.com, that'll get you 10% off as well. All right, the next thing that I want to tell you is G Fuel. It's a phenomenal energy drink, not only as a pre-workout, but also turning you into an endurance focus machine for long hours of gaming with no crash like your other energy drinks, okay? And there's tons and tons of flavor. This product is phenomenal, okay? I, I do not play with any of these products I'm about to tell you guys about. They just, they've stepped up my game so much and you just get so used to it and you can't turn back. So definitely check out G Fuel, use code DOM10 as well. And then Trigger Devils, they are a removable trigger stop that is very crucial to any first person shooter gunfight. They require only a quarter of the pull of your trigger compared to a full trigger pull. And this, guys, I'm telling you, you'll be 30% faster. 30% faster. You can start reloading faster. You don't have to pull your trigger all the way down to the bottom. It stops it on a quick pull. It just makes you all around a lot more quicker than your opponent. And you can use code DOM10 as well. Now that all the sponsors are knocked out of the way, guys, I want you to tell me down in the bottom what you thought about the beta, what you would like to see to be different because I'm doing more videos and I'm going to be taking questions and stuff from these videos and putting that in there. I thought this was one hell of a beta launch, one of the best beta launches I've ever seen Call of Duty put out and I am excited, extremely excited for this game. Don't forget to thumbs up the video and definitely subscribe and tell your friends. The big thing is nowadays with YouTube is to turn on notifications so you never miss a live stream or a video that I produce out. I love you guys. I want you all to Give this game another chance if you haven't. Take some of my advice on my class setups or, you know, my tutorials and tell me if it works out for you. I love you all. You guys are fucking phenomenal. I'm going to get the hell out of here. I'll see you on the next video or live stream. You guys have a great day. Thank you so much for stopping by and taking time out of your day to show some love on my video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment. I always reply back to every comment. And also subscribe if you haven't. Don't forget to check out a few of my sponsors. G Fuel, use code DOM10 to get 10% off. Control Freaks, DOM10 to get 10% off. Trigger Devils, DOM10 to get 10% off. And my chair sponsor is GT Omega Racing. That is code DOM to get 5% off. I love you guys. Don't forget to check out my daily streams as well as my other videos I upload through the week. I love you all. Mwah.